The war, like the heat, is relentless, and the men of the 82nd Airborne are in the thick of it. They've taken heavy casualties, watched America's death toll rise above 1,000, and now their top commander has been fired by the president. But they're in this war up to their necks. This is the battleground General Petraeus inherits. Ditches, deserts, quagmire, and questions about where this war is going, even what it's for. For these men, it's about bombs. There's an ID on a bridge down here. The bomb is in that blue plastic jug, probably about 10 pounds of explosives. They've also found ball bearings close by. And out of the jug are some wires connected to the bridge and running along these paths, suggesting that the bomb may be linked in a chain to other devices. And I got another fire team pushing through the orchard to see if there's any trigger men. They blow up the three bombs and press on. A little over 200 IEDs in this area since we've been here in December. General Petraeus is now in charge of the longest war in American history. These troops were due to fight a breakthrough battle for Kandahar now. That's been postponed as they take one village, one orchard at a time. These dense orchards are laced with bombs, booby traps, trip wires, pressure plates. The troops know they're here. It's just a matter of finding them, but it makes every step a very nervous one. They scour the undergrowth. They're listening to the metal detectors, not the rows back in Washington at this, the height of the fighting season. It'll be a long summer. We're not giving up. So when you have all sides fighting for a population that are all committed to what they are doing, it's going to make for a very long summer. The troops here assure me they are winning this war. General Petraeus told me he doesn't like that word, but it's his war now, and he has a year to prove himself. Bill Neely, ITV News in the Argandab Valley near Kandahar.